Welcome back, friends. Thanks for being here. Buckle up and subscribe because it's going to be fun. So off camera, we made a power pole adapter to alligator clips. We gathered up some supplies and we set off for a fun morning in the field. We've got some awesome shaky camera work courtesy of moi, but we wanted to make sure you saw just how easily the antenna went up into the tree. So make sure you stick with us to see how well it works. If you like videos like this one, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and do all that YouTube stuff. And if you want to support the channel, we've got a tip jar down below and a link to Patreon. Let's take this thing out in the field. So what we're gonna need to do is test this out pretty close to home to make sure that we have everything. And so far I think we're doing pretty good, but we'll find out for sure once we get out in the field, we'll, we'll know exactly what we're missing once we know what we're missing. Yeah. So we need an antenna. This is the antenna we built in the last video. We need some coax to hook up to it. We need a throw weight and some rope to get it up over a branch and a tree. We need a tree. Do you have a tree with you? I always carry a spare in my back pocket. You never know when you'll need one. We need a radio. I am a bagman. Yes, a bagman. I learned yesterday. I think his name was Ludo Bagman. I was talking to Jerrica. Jerrica, good game, good game ham radio. And we were talking about uh, Harry Potter stuff because we both like Harry Potter. And I believe Ludo Bagman is uh, the person who is in charge of the Triwizard Tournament. All right, so I am in charge of the <laughs> Triwizard Tournament. And as such, I found this bag a long time ago, didn't know what I would use it for, but it looked like it would be pretty useful. It's got a nice shoulder strap and all that jazz. Goodwill stores are, are your friend. Um, fits the 891 perfectly. Uh, put it in. Yezu does this thing where they don't let the mic detach very easily, so I let it hang out the one side. We can zip it up and over. And then the microphone can go on the front pouch. Almost like I thought that through. Like I knew what I was doing before. Almost. This bag. I got from LA Police Gear. LA Police Gear is a fantastic store. Lots of well-priced quality stuff there. So the radio fits in that nice and neat. And it's got all kinds of extra pockets where you can put in your throw weight. And you never know when you're going to need some tape. So there's some tape in there. Room for handy talkies, extra stuff. Need a log book. So that'll go in there. And then this is that power cable that we made earlier. Put that neat thing in the back of the truck. We've got a towel in case we want to sit it down on something that's not, well, sit it down on something that's a little sketchy or cover it over to keep sketchy stuff off of the radio. <laughs> and we've got ugh, a power source. And you can see I put this nice carry handle on it to make it nice and portable for us. <laughs> yeah, and you totally did that. I put it in the truck. Actually, actually, if we want to be technical, I put it in the truck. And then I've got some T-posts to, <laughs> we're just going to skip right past that part. We've got some T-posts to keep the ends off the ground <laughs> and a hammer to help us get those in far enough that they don't move, but not in so far that they're a pain in the butt to get out. Sounds like a plan. Let's get on the road. And by road, I mean, you know, yard, because we're going over to another part of our yard to toss this thing up. <laughs> nice. What branch do you think, Leah? Um, that one. <laughs> Maybe a little higher. It's easier to go higher and then not pull it up so high. That one. All right. Go for it, Becca. How do you learn? Try. <laughs> that was really close. That was way better than my first try. Let me just tell you. Yeah. Take two. Yeah. Did you? Two oh takes. my gosh. Oh, two yeah. takes. I am amazing. That. It's caught. That was impressive. Becca, are you tall enough? It's like keeping candy from a baby. <laughs> There's a bird in the film. Do you have to ask the bird if it can be on camera? <laughs> 
<laughs> Becca asking the important questions. And that is why Beck is now in the video. You gotta ask the birds permission, you know. Cause you gotta ask people's permission and birds are people too. Birdsploitation? <laughs> birdsploitation. You know, it's funny, Leah, because you have the ham radio license, but I'm better at throwing antennas up. Did you say Ooh. antenna? <laughs> antenna? I don't know antenna. what's worse, the shots fired or the antenna? I'm gonna need some bird cream from the bird and you're gonna need some phonetics lessons for your English. My English is beautiful and your we, camera skills are better. How did we tie this up before? I don't know. By we, I mean how did you tie this up? Before? Yes, because I tied it up. Okay, so I just, Wait, yeah, I just yeeted it. And then I like yeeted yeah, it around. That would be the opposite of the word yeet, by the way. Wouldn't that's it? that's exactly what I did. I yeeted the string into the tree. Is that correct? You yes, yes. You definitely <laughs> yeeted the string into the tree. With the help of the very heavy throwing weight. This is why you need teenage girls to help you out with your YouTube videos. All right, again with my fancy Boy Scout knots. Because we're all the good content you're going to have. Yep. Okay, so what's the optimal height off the ground for a dipole? It is half a wavelength, right? Quarter. Quarter wavelength. So At close. Least. And since this is a quarter wavelength dipole, what's going to be the easiest way to figure out what we've got is a quarter wavelength off the ground? The coax is attacking me. Um, just to let the ends hang down, and when they reach the ground, you're good to go. All right, how close are the ends to the ground? They're dragging on it. Right about there, I'd say. All right, let's go a little bit higher because we can. Give me some strain relief. Since we are in the Midwest, the best orientation for this would be having the ends north-south. I don't know which direction. That's north, that's south, I think. Yes, and nobody on the camera could see you point. <laughs> that's south, and that's north. All right, we'll fix that in the editing. And this right here is why you prepare before you go out in the field. What did we forget? Oh my gosh! It's a good thing we're like three minutes from the house. <laughs> so you know how I knew we forgot this? Because it wasn't there. <laughs> not, not, number one, because this doesn't look like this and that was a problem. But I knew you guys were going to call me out for not having any fuses in line here, so. I'm thinking like, I knew I had fuses, and now I do. What else do we need? Cox. Hey, good idea, go get it. Yeah, I smart. You get a prize. You know what your prize is? I have to go get the <laughs> A walk. <laughs> she gets a walk. All right, while she's getting that, I'm getting the logbook out. You filmed the boring radio instead of filming me walking? 
So the radio is more interesting than you walking. Wow. This is either going to be Yoda Youth on the air or Yoda Yards on the air. What do you think? I like Yards on the air. Yards on the air. Yards on the air. Radio's on. Oh, noise. And we need to change bands to the. It, I've become so used to using the 7300. I don't even know. Wait, it's Morse code. I know Morse code. Is that Morse code on single sideband? No. You can still hear it. That's beautiful. It sounds like alien lasers. <laughs> what? Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? Kilo Mike 9 Golf. So our SWR meter showed about 1.5 to 1. That's good. I mean, it's not perfect. But it's pretty good. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is KM9G, Kilo Mike 9 Golf. CQ, CQ, Kilo Mike 9 Golf calling CQ on 20 and listening. And listening. Maybe get the, uh, the old log book ready. Probably a good idea. Pen. Thanks. Book. I have to write it down. You want to be on the bike instead? <laughs> the log book. <laughs> Oh, yeah. CQ20, CQ20. This is Kilo Mike 9 Golf, KM9G, calling CQ20. Kilo Mike 9 Golf, KM9G, CQ20, CQ20. And listening. Isn't that all you need, Dad? Your call so sign, Beck? their call sign, the frequency. Signal report. Yeah. Signal report. Yeah, see? Ha! Beck is getting her tech license. Leah's working on her extra license. I feel very left out. Because I'm extra. Right. That worked out pretty well. I'm going to yeet it up to 100. That worked out well. Oh well, nobody Well, I mean, it didn't, the radio didn't fold back, it didn't complain. The radio didn't. CQ20, CQ20, this is Kilo Mike 9 Golf, KM9G, calling CQ20 on 14187. KM9G on 14187, calling CQ and listening. You have to let me have a try, they'll listen to me. Uh, Kilo Mike 9 Golf, calling CQ20, CQ20, Kilo Mike 9 Golf. That's weird, I'm used to saying CQ40. CQ, 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 Kilo Mike 9 Golf, Kilo Mike 9 Golf, KM9G calling CQ on 20 meters. CQ20, CQ20. KM9G, K7, CQX. CQX, can you repeat your call sign? That's right. It's K7, CQ X ray. Woody and Phoenix. Kilo 7 CQ X-Ray. This is KM9G. Leah up here in Wisconsin. How's your day going so far? I had to cut that video short because Leah was spending quite a bit of time chewing the rag with Woody from Phoenix. We made about 10 contacts in two hours that we were out in the field. All of our signal reports were around 5.5 five or higher. Or higher, yeah. Yeah. Um, the nearest contact that we made was 750 miles away, and the farthest was about 1,600 miles away. I had a lot of fun. Probably too much fun. <laughs> it looked like you guys were having fun. It was a contest Saturday, so there was lots of people that were contesting. Even though they were contesting, we were still able to get through and have our own QSOs. And... Uh, one of the cool things was is if we were in the contest, I feel like we would have made a lot of contacts. Next time, we're going to go out and do a Parks on the Air activation. So stick with us and see how we figure out how to do that one. Thanks for being awesome.